Welcome to the Medical Missionary Training Natural Remedies video presentation. Our topic today is on the cold and flu season. Part one is dealing with what to do for infections. And we'll be covering all types of infections. We have come to a time when every member of the church should take hold of medical missionary work. Testimonies, Volume 7, page 62, paragraph 1. It is essential to understand the principles involved in the treatment of the sick. Ministry of Healing, page 127, paragraph 2. As religious aggression subverts the liberties of our nation, those who would stand for freedom of conscience will be placed in unfavorable positions. For their own sake, they should, while they have opportunity, become intelligent in regard to disease, its causes, prevention, and cure. Councils on Health, page 506, paragraph 1. So we'll be talking about the cure for infections. We are coming to that time of year where people get many types of infections such as ear infections, throat infections, lung infections, and believe it or not, many get MRSA, which is a staph infection when they are admitted into the hospital or when they're hospitalized. Today we will be talking about infections of all types, but keep the ones related to the cold and flu season in mind. I will be going over what two main things to do for every type of infection and then in future videos I'll be going into more details as to how to treat each infection individually. There are several types of infections that people get. You have eye infections, tooth and gum infection, infection of the blood, skin infections, kidney infection, bladder infection, yeast infections. You have infection in many different types of wounds, many wounds that get infected. You have ear infections, this is relating to the cold and flu season. Throat, infections of the throat, such as um, strep throat. You have infection of the lungs like pneumonia. Sinus infections. MRSA which is a staph infection that many people get when they're hospitalized during the cold and flu season. And more. Be sure to look up these different infections on Google Images so you can learn how to recognize them. The common thing for people to do who have any type of infection is to take some type of antibiotic. However, in 2017, medical science is now saying antibiotics are no longer effective and they cause a health problem called C. diff. If you go to WebMD and you type in C. diff, you'll find the following link and it is stands for Clostridium difficile. It causes a serious problem in the colon and it can cost like thirteen thousand dollars to get it fixed. The best thing to do is go the natural route. Nature's number one antibiotic is garlic. And we're talking about fresh raw garlic, not the minced kind that's already peeled and chopped up. The first thing you would have someone do is eat two cloves of raw fresh garlic two times a day for seven to ten days. And we have them do it seven to ten days, which is about the amount of time doctors prescribe that's about the length of time doctors prescribe antibiotics for. Be sure to take this with some type of food and not on an empty stomach as it can cause severe burning. 
If someone is on any type of blood thinner like warfarin or coumadin, give them no more than two cloves of garlic a day. Have them check with their doctor to see if they are on any type of garlic restriction. The second thing we have people do is take Echinacea angustifolia vegetarian capsules. Now, it's good to get familiar with Echinacea angustifolia as a plant. You can give this as a tea, but the most convenient way of taking it is in capsule form. But there's coming a time where we can't buy or sell. So get familiar what the plant looks like. Be sure the bottle that you get the capsules in says angustifolia and not purpurea. That's a type of echinacea. Purpurea is okay, but angustifolia is so much more potent. And this is wonderful for any lymph nodes or immune system problems. Okay, there's Dr. Christopher's Herbs. They have a great brand. Here is the bottle, what it looks like. Okay, you want to take two capsules three times a day. These capsules are about 480 milligrams each. That'd be 960 capsules three times a day. You don't want to take more than 3,000 milligrams a day maximum. Take these capsules for 10 days. Then take a seven day break. Then take for 10 days again until the infection is completely gone. Now, if you've taken 10 days and took a seven day break and took 10 days again, and for some reason the infection has still lingered, which it shouldn't have by now, take another seven day break and then take these for another 10 days. Any questions? Post it below this video in the comment section if you do. Or send an email to cbiblical at yahoo.com. Also, if you would like the natural remedies for the cold and flu season document, you may send a request for that as well. Thank you for watching this video. Stay tuned for more to come in the near future.